A stabbing attack in the town of Hadera in the Haifa district in northern Israel has left at least six people injured. This was the scene a little earlier. Chaos there, as you would expect. Let's bring in Mohammed Jamjoum. He's joining us live from Jordan's capital, Amman, because the Israeli government has banned Al Jazeera from reporting inside Israel. Mohammed, what is the latest that you're hearing about this attack? So, Elizabeth, the details that have been emerging thus far from the Israeli police are as follows. Uh, this happened in the past hour. Uh, it's a suspected stabbing attack. One suspected assailant who used a motorcycle to go to various locations in the central Israeli city of Hadera, and that six people were wounded, that three of them have been wounded seriously, uh, and that two of them have been wounded critically. Um, there was quite a bit of chaos in the scene there, a lot of panic, uh, huge security, a huge number of security people deployed to the scene. Also, there were reports that helicopters had been dispatched because there were worries at first that there potentially could have been more than one assailant, and they wanted to try to lock down the area and make sure that this attack would not continue. Now, the reports that have emerged in the last 15 minutes is that the assailant uh, was shot. Uh, many of the reports say that he was shot either in the leg or the knee uh, and then detained thereafter. Um, the Israeli police are calling the suspect a terrorist. Um, also, uh, the Israeli police uh, continuing to comb the area to make sure that there is no other attack that might happen going forward. Of course, we should mention that these types of attacks have become not frequent, but much more common, especially since the war on Gaza began. They have been increasing in frequency over the course of the past few years. Of course, we are awaiting more details. The Israeli police are referring to the suspect uh, as a terrorist, and some of the reports say that this attacker was on a motorcycle going to different parts of the city, carrying both an axe and a knife, and then getting off of the motorcycle at various points in four different locations, and then attacking people who had been wounded. Uh, we will get more details to you as we get them, Elizabeth. Mohammed, thank you very much for that. Mohammed Jamjoon with what we know so far, live in Amman.